Hey everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to draw the ninja logo. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoy. We're going to set up the size of this drawing in the center of our page at the bottom edge of the headband. So to start on the left side, we're going to draw a curve that comes down the middle and then back up on the right. So let's start out here, curve down, and we're going to bring that back up on the right side. Let's go back to the left, we're going to draw the side of the headband, going straight up. Now let's curve this back down, just following the same curve going across. Now we're not going to go all the way. Start out here, curve down, I'm going to bring that up to right about there. Now we want to overlap the hair on top of the headband. So we're going to start up here, we're going to curve in, round this out, go across and up towards the side of the headband. Now on either side, we're going to step down and draw the top edge of the eye. So we start on the left, we're going to draw an angled line coming down and in. To right about there. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the height, go up and then out. Now let's draw on the bottom of the eye. We're going to connect these two points with a curve. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and then back up. Now let's move down and draw that curve underneath the eyes. So underneath this point, just on the outside, we start by curving down and then in, just underneath the eye. Let's do the same thing over on the right side. Starting out here, curve down and then in. And then from here we're going to curve in and then up, leaving a gap in the center. So we're going to round out the bottom, curving up and in. Now let's connect these two points with a curve, going up the middle and then back down. Now from here we're going to move back to the left side, draw the side of the head coming down towards the jaw. So we're going to draw an angled line, starting up here, come down to right about there. Now from the jaw we're going to come down and in towards the chin. Down and in with a straight line. And then from here we're going to go straight across the chin in towards the center. Come in about halfway. Now we're going to move over to the right side and draw the shading that goes across the face. So we're going to start up here, curve down, and then in. We're going to round this out and pull it down towards that bottom point of the chin. So we're going to go across the face, round this out, and I'm going to curve down towards the chin. Now let's draw on the outside of the head. From this point we're going to step up in an angle and draw a straight angle line coming down the side of the head. Right about there. Now let's go across down towards the chin. Now we're going to do the same thing over on the right, but we're going to start right beside the eye. So right here we're going to draw that same angled line, coming down and in to the same height. Now we're going to angle down and in towards the chin. Now let's close off the chin with a straight line. Now back over on the left side, we're going to draw the outside perimeter of the hair. So we're going to start out here, we're going to curve out and then up. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction. We're going to come in and then down. Now we're going to draw in a second spike. From here we're going to curve out, up and then in. Now I'm just going to curve this back down and in. Coming down and in to right about there. From here we're going to go back up towards the third spike, going up and in. Now we're going to curve across the head, come down and across towards the right. Now from here we're going to go up and over towards the right. Now we're going to curve across down the side of the head. From here we're going to curve out and pull that down to right about there. Let's add one more point. From here we're going to curve across and up. I'm going to pull this around down towards the side of the head, but we're going to leave a gap on the side. So I'm going to go out, round it out, and pull that in. Let's add the two headband straps. From here we're going to curve up and out. Come straight down towards the bottom of the strap. Now I'm going to taper this so it gets narrower as it comes in towards the head. Curve up and then in. 
Let's add one shortest drop across the bottom. From here, we're gonna curve out and then down. We're gonna draw a straight angle line coming in. I'm gonna pull this up towards the inside of the head, along the top. Bring it up and then in. Now we're gonna trace this out along the left side. Starting from the top, we leave an even space gap, curving out and then around. Now we're gonna go across towards the left, going up and then out. Let's come down the side to the top of the headband. Now we're going to go back to the top. I want to draw a wave. We're going to curve across and then down. So I'm just going to trace this out and then across. Now in the center, I'm just going to pull this down. Let's curve in the opposite direction. Curve up and then out. And now we're going to curve down and over towards the right. Come down and out. Now we're going to add one more point. I'm going to curve up aiming towards this point. Stop right about there. And then from here, I'm gonna curve down and across, just on top of the headband. Now the last thing we're gonna do is connect these two points with a curve. Just follow the same curve of the headband, going across towards the right. And that's pretty much it. There's our Ninja logo. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.